console uh, single needle direct drive. I'm going to turn it on back here. This is a uh, very basic direct drive motor is here, not on the bottom. And you have your stitch regulator. And uh, you got your speed control here. Uh, top speed, 3,700 RPMs. You can lower it. And then you have your knee lifter here. Or you can lift in the back here with the hand lever. And uh, you have uh, your needle position. Uh, you could have it uh, to end in an up position. The needle always will stop on an up position or you can make it go down in a down position. That makes a benefit when you're you're doing corners. And you don't have to keep lifting, making sure that the needle's in a position that's easy to turn the material. And uh, then you have your uh, your controls. If you ever go into the settings, you can set up the speed here. Once you set it up, you can always save it. S for save. Then you have, uh, you're gonna go into your other uh, parameters. And if you look in the uh, instruction book, you can always go into the parameters and double check what uh, the uh, settings are by moving them to different positions. And then you can verify if P3 is supposed to be at zero and there, then you go into P4 and verify that it's supposed to be a, again a, on a zero. Then you can go to a P5. And you see here, P5 is a uh, stitch number of, store, of soft stitches. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you the uh, numbers of soft stitch when you're gonna start. So if you have it set up fast, it's going to start on a slow stitch. But that function is really uh, useless to me because you can always stop, start soft by not pushing the pedal hard. And then if you want to start fast, just push the pedal fast. Same thing with this function here. I mean, obviously this control panel can be uh, used for different models. So on this, this thing is always to override the, the, the uh, program for the, for the speed. And it's definitely like useless because you're going to uh, control it mostly with your foot. And then you have your uh, bobbin winder there. And it'll automatically shut off. And you always put your uh, bobbin in and it turns, which is nice not having it here. Then you also have your oiler 
Uh, if you're going to wind your bobbin, you're going to put it on this thread stand on the right. Then you can come in through your your tension. This will give you the tension for the bobbin. And uh, when you're done, you can cut it right here. You got a little knife that you can cut thread. So you have a piece of thread and you just cut it. And your, your threading, a lot of people make a mistake when you're, you're starting to sew of, of not going through the tension. So I'm going to go through here. You're going to go up through here. This one is just, it gives you a little, so you don't get a little backlash. So you don't want this one tight because you want to make sure that you got one place that you're going to know that that's where your tension is. You're going to go through the, the disc. Once you go through the disc, what I do is I hold one here. That way it goes inside the disc. Then I'm going to go over the check spring and your check spring is going to give you your tension and it's going to make it go up and down. And that's the, the timing for the needle and the take up. And then you're going to go under this post in order for the, the thread to be able to to have that cushion. And then you've got the simple thread guides and the bottom thread guides and the needle, the canal. There's a lot of people make this mistake because you get confused with different machines. If the hooks on this side, there's a canal or channel here and where the point of the needle goes through is open there. So you wanna make sure that that is always facing the hook. A lot of people always say that the thread is not picking, the machine is not picking up the thread and it's the needle in the wrong position. Simple machine. And then if your presser foot is too tight, say you're sewing less chiffons or, or sometimes lycra, loosen it here. Now you have a guide here to let you know where it used to be. I would leave that in that position until you find that that's your, that's the position that you really like. Then you can bring it down and lock it in place. But if you're, if you're using, if you're going from jeans to Lycra, then you can mark it or test it like I do here. I know that it's, that I, I got the feel, but you just got to get used to what your taste is and that it doesn't wrinkle your material. And then what I like about this feature here is you got an automatic tack tacker here. So if I'm going here and getting to the end, I'm sorry, it's just it's just a needle position. It's just gonna move you. It's gonna move you to a position. If you're gonna tack, it's here. And that just at the end, you're going to uh, get uh, locking your your stitch so you don't uh, your, your threading doesn't come apart and then the simple bobbin is a side load bobbin <clears throat> you can adjust it here if you want to tighten it Take a little screwdriver and you can tighten it here. So you're always going to take your bobbin and uh, you start it out at a, like a P position, put it in the case, put it through the groove and then put it through the latch. 
very important that you get it into this latch. And what I do is always test it. You know, you should be able to bounce it and it comes off just a hair and that you know. Then, oil. This is the lifts up the oil. Uh, I would uh, change the oil like a month or two after you use it because it's new. And then after that, just leave the oil in for the new oil for a year. So we're going to go here. This is your hook. This is your uh, bobbin case. What you're going to do is always if it was down, you're going to put it with this up because this is where the needle goes in through. So once you get this, you get it in here, make sure it clicks in the place because if it doesn't click, then it's going to come out and it's going to break your needle and it could take your machine out of timing. So you just leave this a little bit. You don't have to leave it this long. So if you have it that long, good thing to do is cut it. You don't have to, but you know, so you won't run into problems and have to go through a troubleshooting. Then it's always good when you're going to start is to do it manual. Do uh, a manual. That way you know that the thread doesn't get stuck in there and mess up your machine. So this is the console direct drive single needle. It's a nice machine overall. You can go from light to medium duty. You can do jeans, perfect for alterations, quiet machine.